This is a life-transforming message from Life by Design Ministries in Denver, Colorado. And now let's join the founder and senior pastor, Pastor Peter Taff. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, come on, come on. Celebrate him. I'm telling you. Oh, it's good to be in the room. It's good to be in the room right now. Glory to God. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, blow up the chat room. Let your presence be known. Whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on our website, glory to God. Come on, make your presence known. Let God know that you're there. Let us know that you're there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All it takes is a click. Just a click. Just a click. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And then your presence is made known. Glory be to God. I see. I see. I see some are still sitting in the cheap seats. Going Just going to peek through the window. That's all right. Glory be to God. I'm believing tonight's word, amen, is going to shatter the window and just catch you on the outside and pull you all the way in. Amen. Glory to God. I'm excited about what God is doing. I got a lot of ground to cover. I want to make sure I allow myself enough time to do that. But I want to start off with this before, even before I pray, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Um, well, let's pray first. We're going to pray first, and then I get into that. Then I won't have to stop. Glory be to God. Come on, lift your hands and hearts up to the Lord. Let's believe God. Amen. As we're gathered in his name, we know what? He's in the midst. So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the covenant promise. God, that if we gather in your name, you'll be in the midst. Father, we thank you for being in the midst and to speak to us. God, to completely furnish us and equip us. Father, we just thank you for your word. Let your word come like it's never come before. Oh, God, let us hear like we never heard before. Let us believe the report and follow the instructions. In Jesus' name, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah for what you're doing in the earth right now. This new thing you're doing, and we thank you, Father, for new wine skins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout glory. glory. Come on, shout glory again. Shout glory again. Glory. Glory. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to keep the voice. We're going to keep the voice tonight. Glory to God. Amen. All right. Oh, since, since Sunday, everybody say Sunday, 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 Sunday. Since Sunday, glory be to God. Now, I'm not going to give you the full testimony. I'm going to just give you a, a teaser of it. Glory be to God because the full display of it will happen on first Sunday, first Sunday of September. Remember, let me stack this up. Remember, Minister K came and ministered and said, suddenly. Amen. Everybody say suddenly. Glory be to God. And then God came back. Oh, I was going to pull the scripture up for you. Mark, I think it's Mark 16. He said he sent them out and, and confirmed the word with signs, the Lord working with them, and confirmed the word with signs following. Yeah. Is that it? What's that? That's in Mark 16. Yeah. Mark 16. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Come on. We got enough time for this. Get your Bibles. I want you to lay on, lay on this. Um, give it to my booth there. I meant to. I had my note. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, Mark 16th chapter. I think I got enough time to get this in there. And uh, I want you, because I want to show you something. This is very, very important that we, we see this. Ooh. Ah. Let's see if I can find it. Ah. 16 and 20. Okay. Thank you. 16 and 20. Amen. Amen. My, uh, Watch what it says. Mark 16 and 20 it says, And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Say that with me. Confirming the word, confirming the word. with signs following. Now watch this. Watch this. On, on Sunday, we preach give back, bless back. Amen. Everybody say bless back. Say bless back. On Sunday, we preach blessed back. I want you to know, I don't know how you heard the word on Sunday, but I want you to know, God put his signature all over that word. I mean, just all over that word. So many confirmations and signs, wonders following that all over the word. Let me give it to you, the first one. First one, glory be to God. And we, we say this with much honor. Amen. Glory be to God. It, it literally, Minister K, kept my heart from being overwhelmed and heavy. I had, had, to, had to stop myself and say, oh, wow. Remember I was sharing with you inside of Sunday's word a testimony about how one had honored the Lord. 
I started that testimony off or, or, or that experience off by saying I was not going to call any names. Go back, check the record. I said, I'm not going to call no names. I'm not going to call no names because I was, I was um, visiting a pastor's celebration, da, 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 and I wasn't going to call no names. But then I got down to the one who honored God, and I felt an unction to call her name. Oh, glory be to God. On Sunday, I call her name, amen, and then God calls her name and calls her home to be with him. I ain't catching God yet. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So she went in honor. Glory be to God. Everybody say, oh, yeah. She. Oh, you ought to just give God some praise on that right now. Glory be to God. She, she exited in honor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. I'm telling you, we serve an awesome God. Come on, you're going to you're gonna have to get out of your flesh now. Glory be to God and flow with him. Paul was in, Paul was in between. He said, I don't know whether to be with him or stay with y'all. <laughs> Ooh, I think we can answer that one. But anyway, glory be to God. Let me, let me go to where I was going. But I preached, I preached on, the Lord preached a message on blessed back. Blessed back. And so Monday... Monday night. Now we looked at the record. Glory be to God. I know you're standing in faith. I know you believe in God for the blessed back. But just to, to, to encourage you, what did God say about our testimony? He says, when he bless you or when he blesses someone, he has others in mind. Come on, put that in the chat room right there. When God blesses you or he blesses others, he, um, someone, he has others in mind. Always remember that. Always remember that. So if your neighbor get blessed, he's talking to you. <laughs> Let me say that again for you here. If your neighbor gets blessed, God is talking to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Why he's blessing your neighbor. Yeah. He has you in mind and he's speaking to you for your faith to come up. Glory be to God and to receive what he has for you. You got to get this kingdom principle because he operates that way. So on Monday night, I get a phone call around 830, 9 o'clock. Amen. They apologized for calling so late. They said, I wasn't going to call, but God kept telling me, call. Call now. <laughs> he got, he, they said they looked at their watch and, and said, it's kind of late, God. He said, uh, call and call now. So I took the call, and they called me. Uh, one of the sons of the ministry, and they called me. And we, they're going to be here on first Sunday and, and share the rest of it. But watch this. The call, and I'm going to stop after this. We're going to get into the nice lesson. The call was simply to say, Pastor, I'm calling. Because the Lord put it on our hearts to bless back the house. Now, they use the term to give back the house, to give back to the house. I said, sir, I apologize. I have to interrupt you. I just preached this message on Sunday. And he's living it out on Monday. God let, <laughs> oh, somebody way over in Moab, <laughs> hear his word, they obeyed it, glory be, I'm telling you, saints, he's talking to us. Oh, come on, before you shout, he's talking to us. He's talking to life by design. Life by design, this was not a message just that your pastor just came up with. Life by design, this is not a message that your pastor is just trying to pull on something. This came from me. <laughs> and I'm giving you a witness to it with signs following. Come on, give God some praise on that right now while I, come on, come on, blow up the chat room right now, glory. I need you to see. I need you to see. I need you to see that God is moving. I need you to understand that the floodgates are open. I need you to understand that he's doing a new thing, and this is your time and your season, and you have to receive this word that he's giving you so you know how to move in it. Don't miss it. Somebody put it in the chat room right now. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Glory be to God. I don't know about you, but that blessed me. Glory yeah. be to God. Oh, I was walking around in the room with my hands lifted. I mean, and I have seen the signature in the hand of God move many times, but I'm saying, oh, my God. Preach on Sunday, he move on Monday. Come on, God. Come on, God. Thank you, Lord. 
I tell the rest of it when they're here. Let's go into our word for tonight. Tonight's message, tonight's message. I pray that you, you listen to and observe the opening verse. It ties in to where we're going on tonight, that he gives seed to the sower. But, and, and, and just read it there out of that Philip's translation. You, you'll understand the abundance of it and, and, and how it's all intertwined there. Glory be to God. He wants you to be a blessing in the earth. Glory be to God. He's going to give you the seed, multiply the seed. Glory be to God. Somebody put it in the chat room right now, my harvest is in my seed. Who? Oh, my harvest is in my seed. You got to understand how God operates. When you ask him for something, he, he'll give you the harvest and wrap it up in a seed and give you the seed. <laughs> Ooh, then bless the seed and cause it to grow. We're going to get into all that. It's inside of a today's lesson, tonight's lesson. Glory be to God. Tonight's message is simply this. A title of tonight's message is, amen. Well, did that bless you? Did that testimony bless you? Come on, blow it up in the chat room. Glory be to God. That, that's worthy of praise. That's God speaking to us. Tonight's message. In faith to declare. Say that with me. In faith to declare. To declare. In other words, I'm in faith to declare, to make a decree. Yeah. Ooh, glory be to God. Somebody say, faith that shows. In Job, Job 22 and 28, work with us, Lord. Glory be to God. He says, you shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established for you. And the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. He says, you shall also, if I say, de decide, say it with me, decide, decide. and decree a thing. You got to get both of that. You're going to decide. If I say, I'm going to make up my mind. And then I'm going to decree a thing. And then God said, it's going to be established for you. Who will be the God? And not only that, I'm going to shine my light, my favor on your path so you'll know how to walk it out. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm in faith so I can decree a thing. I can declare a thing. I'm understanding how important it is for me to say something. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm in faith, everybody say, to declare. We were laying out here in prayer, glory be to God, and God said, I need you to go back to decreeing. <laughs> he said, you stepped away from decreeing what you wanted. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we're here tonight. Glory be to God. Subtitle, subtitle. Now, God, this should have been a Sunday message, but we got to go. We got to go with it tonight. Invest in increased faith. Investment in increased faith is my subtitle. In other words, we're going to make it an investment in increasing our faith. If I say an investment, we're going to make it an investment in increasing our faith. Galatians 6 and 8 says this. If they plant to satisfy or in the field of into their sinful selves, sinful nature, flesh, their sinful selves will bring them to ruin. They will reap destruction from their flesh. Here's the promise of the investment. But if they plant to please or in the field of into the spirit, in other words, if I sow in the spirit, they will receive, reap, harvest, eternal life from the spirit. So the promise is this, if I sow in the spirit, I'll reap from the Spirit. In other words, God said, if you make investment in me, who oh, you will reap from me. Glory to God. Oh, come on, saints. He said, if you make investment in me, your return is going to come from me back to you. Woo! Everybody say, that's a good bank to invest in. Glory be to God. So we're going to learn how to make an investment in the increase of our faith. Glory be to God. Now, here's this. My investment will require new disciplines. Somebody break that down. My investment will require 
new disciplines. Glory be to God. I pray you got your notes out. Uh, I, want you to, I want you to write these things down. Your investment is going to require new disciplines. If you are trying to make an investment and get your savings account up to a certain level, it's going to require a new discipline, amen, that you keep making those deposits, amen. Glory be to God. It's not going to just get there because you slap some oil on your <laughs> savings account envelope. No, no, no. You got to make the deposit. Everybody say, I got to make the deposit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, um, so it's going to require some new disciplines. Now, here's the promise of why I want to make this investment. Everybody say, why I want to make the investment? Investment. Well, if you go to investment banker, um, you know, they, you want to see the perspectives and, 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 the, and the portfolios and, and all of that that they do. Because why? You want to know what's going to be the return on the investment. I'm not investing money to lose money. I want to know what this thing going to give me back. What's going to be the return on my investment? Here is the promise of the return on your investment if you increase your faith. The scripture says this, all things are possible to them that believe. Oh, uh, y'all ain't heard me yet. No, the scripture says all things are possible to them that believe. So we want to invest in and exercise our faith so we can believe for the impossible. Oh, come on, you got to get this, you got to get this. Because sometimes we believe we are believing when we're not really believing, we're just in desperation. There's a difference between being in faith and in desperation. Glory be to God, hallelujah. I know you need God to move, but that doesn't mean you have the faith, amen, that's going to move the hand of God. So we got to get out of desperation and get our faith increased so we know that we know. Oh, come on, so we, come on, somebody said that we know that we know. That's why he took the man and slapped the river, glory be to God, and said, now where is the God of Elijah? Why? Because he was in faith. He was believing, glory be to God. I'm not in desperation. I'm not looking for a boat or a log to cross this river. God going to open it up, glory be to God. Ah, come on, saints. Oh, come on, got to put on your big pants tonight, glory to God. And a lot of times we waste too much time, amen, playing, and we're not ready for our impossible moments with our faith because we have not worked on increasing our faith. And then we get caught in desperation. <laughs> so, oh, we want to believe, I mean, we want to increase, make this investment so we can have faith for the next level. Everybody say for the next level. Yeah, I got my faith. I, yeah, I used my faith and got the house. Glory be to God. But what's next? Come on, that ain't the end of the journey. Come on. Come on. Now I need to believe God for the next five houses. Because the grandkids need a place to stay. We're breaking this cycle. I wish I had some help. Oh, we're going to get there. We, when we get on the prosperity pillar, we're going to get there. Glory be to God. You understand it. You understand it. Glory be to God. So I'm believing for the next level. So tonight is about, got to pick up my pace. Tonight is about learning to make the investment to increase our faith. Everybody say, learning to make the investment to increase our faith. In faith to declare. I'm in faith to declare and to make decrees. Glory be to God. Oh, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Kingdom points. In faith to declare. Faith that shows. We're going to intertwine that. Kingdom point number one, consider not. I got to learn how to not consider certain things. Amen. While considering other things. <laughs> Ooh, I got to learn how to forget those things which are behind me. Oh, glory be to God. We're going to deal, deal with it. We're going to deal with it. Uh, key to point number two, declare the end. Everybody say declare the end. So, some of your ends are just too, too obscure. You don't know if you're there or not. Because you just say, I want to get better. <laughs> well, what's better? <laughs> uh, declare what your better is. Yeah. Woo, get, everybody say get Pacific, get Pacific. Come on, declare your end. Very important in the faith process that you declare your end. He didn't say, let there be something. He said, let there be light. 
Oh, you can't, you got to catch it, kids. You got to come up. He didn't say, let there be something. He said, let there be light. And then key to point number three, press towards the mark. Say that with me. Press towards the mark. That's where your action comes in. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do you understand why we gather? Glory be to God for our full equipping, for our righteousness, our authority, our sonship, our identity, amen, for the work of the ministry, to get to a place of dominion, that we're walking in dominion. I'm in faith to decree. Glory be to God. So I can stand on land and decree. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What needs to transpire here? Amen. Oh, global be God. And to promote each other's growth. Everybody say, I'm here to promote your growth. Come on, put it in the chat room. I'm here to promote your growth. Global be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you decree a thing, global be to God. I'm going to join my faith with your faith and, and push that thing. Amen. Global be to God. I'm not going to tear down with my, my ridicule and, scar and sarcasm and laughter. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to get behind that. Even if I have to say, Lord, help my unbelief. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. You got to know how to hold your tongue. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Woo. All right. Key, some key verses that I got to lay down real quick. Amen. Because they give us good foundation for what we're building on tonight. First thing, James 2 and 18 say, Yea, a man shall say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So in order to really show faith, works got to be there. Everybody say, got to be there. There has to be some action. Come on, you got to get this tonight. It's going to be real practical and real pointed and real instructional. There has to be some action. You got to get beyond just confessing it in your head or out of your mouth and get up and start moving. We're going to see that tonight. Isaiah 30, 23. At the same time in that day, the Lord sent rain. Watch this. You might not know this one. Isaiah 30 and 23. At that time in the same day, the Lord will send rain for your seeds, your plant, sow in the ground. Now, the verse above this says, basically, when you repent. He says, when you cast out all these idols <laughs> and get rid of all that stuff that's, that's, that, that's not of me, he said, at that time, in that day, the Lord will send rain for your seed. Come on, glory be to God. I want you to know it's raining. Yeah. He has sent, watch this, rain, y'all got to kiss this, for the seed. Oh, I pray your seed is not in the barn. I pray, oh, come on. I pray your seed is not in the cupboard. Glory be to God. I pray that you have sowed your seed. Why? Because it's raining. He has sent rain for the seed. Rain for your seeds. Everybody say seeds. You planted, sowed in the ground. The ground will grow food for you. The harvest will be rich, fat, great, plentiful, and you would have plenty of food in your fields for your animals. Your cattle will graze in large pasture. God said, I'm sending rain for your seeds. Oh, somebody ought to get up and jump and, sh and run around the room because you planted some years ago. Oh, I heard it in the spirit. You planted some years ago. God said, I'm sending rain oh, for your seeds that you got in the ground. Oh, not the ones you just planted this year, but the ones you planted last year. The ones you planted five years ago. God said, I'm sending rain for your seeds. Oh, it's getting ready to break up and break out all over the place. Whoo, hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Rain is coming for your seeds. In other words, God said, I'm getting ready to cause the seeds that you sow that are in the ground to come up into and to sprout harvest for you. I told you it's raining. The floodgates are open. Expect doors to open up for you. Expect unusual favor in your life. But you can't access this sitting on the couch watching CSI. Somebody say it's raining. Put it in the chat room. I need some umbrellas, some, some rain. See, there, there we go. There we go. I thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Glory be to God. It's raining. Saints, it's raining. Now drop your umbrella a doubt, a doubt and get wet. Glory be to God. Let your seeds get the rain of God because he wants to bring 
effect in your life. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All right, let's go. Whew. Isaiah 30 and 23. That, that's going to become your new best friend. Glory be to God. Woo, that verse is tight. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. 2 Corinthians 9 and 10 says this. For God is the one who gives seed to the farmer and bread for the food. He will give you all the seed you need and make you grow. You better slap somebody. God said he will give you all the seed you need. Let's break that down. You ask God for something. God said, okay, I'm going to respond to your request. It's in my will. So I'm going to give you the seed that has that harvest in it. Oh, come on, get this, get this. Get. God said, I'm going to give you the seed that has that harvest in it, and not only am I going to give it to you, I'm going to make it grow. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to make it grow, supply, and multiply your seed so that there will be a great harvest for your goodness, your righteousness. Glory be to God. Your harvest is in your seed, saints. If I say my harvest is in my seed, glory be to God. Your prayer answered may come in seed form. You need to understand this. You ask God for something. Here's an example. You ask him, God, I, I really want to do this. And then the next day, you have this thought. The thought is, you know what? Here's a simple need that I have this skill set to fulfill. I'm going to create the product, market it, and meet that need. The return from that finances the dream. Yeah, I ain't called oh, God yet. Oh. Don't overlook the seed. Amen? So, let's do this. Where is your faith going to show? Where, somebody say, where is my faith? Where or how is my faith going to show? Watch this. It says this. It's going to show in my talk. Everybody say, it's going to show in my talk. This is faith that shows. Glory. It's going to show in my talk. I'm going to make decrees. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to make a decree. Yeah. Now, he says this now. You got to understand something because I might not get to this later on in it. You might you got to get there. He says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth talk. So my decree is not coming off the top of my head. It's coming out of a meditative word that's been in my heart. Then up from that, in other words, I push the word so far down in my heart, now I'm spilling back out. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> oh, somebody just decree, I am the healer of the Lord. Glory to God. Oh, I'm so excited about this because we're going to start all speaking the same thing. Glory be to God. And so instead of saying, I'm debt free, we're going to say, we are debt free. You ain't ready for me tonight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It shows in my walk. My faith got to show in my walk. Everybody say in my walk. In other words, the actions and the works that I do, the, t the steps that I take, glory be to God, I'm, I'm taking faith steps. Somebody said, why are you doing that? And, and then you, you explain to them because of X, Y, Z, and they look around and say, well, I don't see X, Y, Z. Yeah, because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I'm taking a step not based on sensory and evidence, but because God said so. It's going to show them a walk. Hallelujah. Ain't too much walk sitting on the couch watching CSI. It's going to show in my love. Everybody say it's going to show in my love. Now, can y'all write and say amen at the same time? I'm just wondering. Let me hit brakes for a moment because y'all can't. The hand should be able to do something and the mouth should be able to do something at the same time. All right. Okay. So it's going to show in my love. Everybody say it's going to show in my love. Now. Faith works by love. In other words, when, I, when I'm in faith, my response is going to be impacted differently by the love. Glory be to God. So my resp how I respond. Everybody say, how I respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. No, I got to stay in this love. Why? Because it's in line with my faith. My faith works by this. Mm -hmm. So those three areas, my faith got to show. Let's go. Joshua, this is set up. Help us, Lord, on the time. 
Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law, watch what it says. Shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein night, I mean day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. I'm meditating so my meditation will impact what I do. Oh, y'all getting this? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, so I'm meditating so my meditation will impact what I do. I'm meditating on a soft answer turns away wrath, so then I will give a soft answer in the middle of a wrath situation. While they fussing at me, I'm going to give a soft answer. Okay, 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 okay. Just keep working at it. Keep working at it. Watch this, watch this. That is written therein. Watch this. For then, underlined it, thou shall make thy way prosperous. Oh, you got a lot to do with this. And then thou shall have good success. So he says now, if you get these laws, these principles that are in my word, meditate them, and they become a way of life to you, you'll make your way prosperous through them, and you'll have good success through them. So there are so there's some laws that we got to master in our being in faith to decree a thing. Because when I say it, I want the mountain to move. Oh, come on, talk back to me. When I say it, I want the mountain to move. When I, I don't want the mountain to say, who are you talking to? <laughs> you ain't in none of the principles that's going to cause me to move. <laughs> who glory be to God. Amen. You can't make a decree, I'm debt free, and, you, and you're operating in a poverty mentality. You, you, you're spending your check before you get it. Don't make me throw my cup. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's a, there's a new discipline you got to bring in your life. Come in line with it. Come on, give God some praise. Y'all praying for me? Let's go. First law. First law. The law of reference. Everybody say the law of reference. I got to make sure I master the law of reference. So when I'm in situations, I reference the right reports. Glory be to God. First thing he said, consider not. Romans uh, 4 and 19. We're going to deal with that. So I won't read the verse there. We're going to deal with that. How Abraham considered... Abraham, consider not certain things. Glory be to God. When you when you get ready to decree a thing, you can't be this, this uh, um, considering how the wind is blowing. You can't consider what the circumstances look like. You can't consider what somebody else said who's not even in faith for what you're believing for. And isn't it amazing how that voice always shows up? We'll deal with that tonight. I hope we do. Watch this. Say. The law of reference. It said, look not at, at things. Second Corinthians. I'm going to read this one. Second Corinthians 4, 18. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen. Oh, I'm not considering that. But at the things which are not seen. Everybody say, I'm looking at what's not seen. Oh, you got you to catch that. You got to catch it in the spirit. I'm looking at what's not seen. So I'm seeing something that's in a different dimension. I'm looking there and not at what I do see. Because what what, what's in the natural, yeah, those circumstances don't look good. But I'm looking at, not at that, but I'm looking at what's not seen. I'm looking at what's laid up for me. I'm looking at the great and precious promises. I'm looking at what he said. I'm looking at that he said he's going to send rain for my seed. Glory be to God. I got seed. He got rain. Put it in the ground. Come on, God. Let's start this process. I'm looking at what's not seen. <laughs> for the things which are seen are temporal. You're making permanent decisions based on something that's getting ready to change. <laughs> but the things which are not seen are eternal. Glory be to God. The law of focus. I got, to, I got to get a hold of and master my focus and get, get, be skillful at the law of focus. Target, not distractions. Say that with me. Target, not distractions. I got to make sure I stay focused on the target and not the distractions. Philippians 3.13 says, Brother, and I count myself not as has to ap have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. 
you're always focused on what's behind. I said, forget what's behind. Well, you know, last time, I said, forget what's behind. He said, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Come on, somebody put it in the chat room. Got to work on that one. Got to work on that. I got to work on not focusing in on my past. That's my past does not equal my future. I said, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So I'm reaching forward to something new. Glory be to God. I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Watch the rest of this. So I'm pressing, everybody say, I'm pressing towards the mark. That's my focus. When you're in faith for something, you got to make sure you keep your eye on that mark. And don't get distracted by the, the, the um, counterfeits that have come up along the way. You don't let the enemy make you take another exit. Stay with what God said. Glory be to God. He said that one, go for that one. Glory be to God. Watch this, watch this. Because you got to fight for it now. Is that why he called it faith fight? Watch this. He says, verse 15 is important because we don't normally go there. He said, let us therefore as many as be perfect meaning being complete in Christ, be thus minded. And if anything ye be otherwise minded, God will reveal this unto you. So God is saying to the Lord, I need all y'all to catch this mind. Let your mind be renewed in this. You got to forget about the past and reach towards the mark. Because I'm moving for you. Glory be to God. Come on, give God some praise on that right there. Hallelujah. Come on, one more lie, one more lie. Time ain't my friend tonight. Time ain't my friend. Glory be to God. One more law. The law of environment. Everybody say the law of environment. The first one, example I'm going to give you, is to get out. Everybody say get out. So you got to see yourself getting out from the company of those that's not saying the same thing. Yes, that's right, that's right. I didn't say divorce your family and, and break up with all your friends and all of that. <laughs> but when you're in faith for something, glory be to God, sometimes I got to pull back, glory be to God, and get around those who are saying the like same thing. Notice I said get around them that are saying the like same thing and not in isolation. Careful of that one. Be careful of that. Don't you let the enemy isolate you. Okay. Is this a good word for you tonight? Yeah. Glory be yeah. So watch what he said. First thing he tells Abraham, he said, Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and to a land that I'm going to show you. He's still dealing with him first on his law of environment. Abraham, I got to get you into an environment that's going to help nurture your faith so you can receive my promise. Some of us are in non-nurturing environments. Every time you throw a dream out there, somebody got a water hose ready to just water it down. Yeah, you know that ain't going to happen. I don't know who you think you are. Mm -mm, that ain't going to happen. And then watch this. Why, you, why they water yours down? Hey Amen. They in their room trying to create a vision board to create the same thing. Ain't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you got to have this. This is, this is a tough one. It's actually at the end of our case study. If we went on into it, but in our case study, we're only dealing with the woman. But she's the interruption to J.R.S.'s um, situation. And this is towards the end of Jairus' situation. In Mark 5 and 40, Jesus comes to Jairus' house. You know, you know the story. She went from being sick to now she's dead. Glory be to God. And they're all in there. Miss Kate. They're all in there weeping with them that do weep. They're all in there crying. Now, he ain't believing for no pity party. He's believing for his daughter back. Oh, I got to go here real quick. This, I don't know, if, I don't know which further I'm going to get, but I'm going to get this in. Now, so he, Jesus gets there, glory be to God, and he comes in and makes an announcement. Oh, she's not dead. She's just sleeping. I got this. 
they went from crying. And they laughed and jeered at him. Now, they doubt is showing up. They ain't talking with you. Some folks that are crying with you, full of doubt. Oh, full of sympathy and sympathetic, but they're full of doubt. You got to watch, watch the sympathetic pulls on your life when you're in faith for something. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. The, this is how the sympathetic pulls work. First thing is, it identifies with you. <laughs> right. In other words, uh, they were crying, you know, trying to show how they identify with their sorrow and their loss. They identify with you. Watch the sympathetic pool the enemy uses on Eve. He identifies. He tries to let Eve know, I identify with you. <laughs> Watch this. You won't surely die. You got to watch this subtle sympathetic pull is trying to pull you off your faith. Oh, you won't surely die. Oh, I won't. You see the dilemma I'm in? You identify me with my pain. I'm going to love you past your pain. Yeah, all right, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> the other thing it does, it, um, there's always a good element in there. The good element here is that they are crying and weeping. You know, back in those days when the, the, all the mourners would come out, you know, somebody died, they just put change clothes and run over to their house and just start crying. It's amazing. Watch it now. It's amazing who shows up when you're in your faith fight. Oh, I heard you going through, girl. Who told you? Oh, y'all ain't with me tonight. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Now, 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 what you need, you need somebody to come in strong. Here they going to come in and talk. By the time they get through talking to you, you going to just pack up your nappy and just say, watch this. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. God said you went from a decree to anyway. What's anyway? I didn't say let there be something. I said let there be light. Come on, sir. It sound good. You got to watch this enemy called good. <laughs> In Eve's situation, it, the fruit looked good to her. Everybody said it was good to it. It looked good. It looked good. Amen. Glory be to God. And then there's false advantage. Last thing on sympathetic pools. The sympathetic pool will always come up with a false advantage for you. It's a false advantage. Glory be to God. In, in each situation it was, the um, only reason why God don't want you to touch this tree is because he knows you'll be like him. False advantage. In other words, in your situation, people will say, girl, you know, just go and save that money and down the road, down the road now. Down the road, you'll you be, you, you know, you be okay. Because I want, I just, the times is kind of iffy right now. I wouldn't spend that right now. And you, and you seven days for moving into your new house. And they, they going to back you out now? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, y'all catching me tonight? Oh, yeah. The enemy will present a false advantage. Oh, Dr. Nehemiah, come on over here. Let's talk about it. They, they tried to kill you. Let's meet in the church. False advantage. He said, no, nah, I ain't doing that. Somebody put it in the chat room. No, nah, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I'm going to stay in faith to decree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo, it's the top of the hour. Are y'all ready for this? Everybody say, I'm going to stay in faith to decree. Stay. 
I got five minutes. I'm going to take my five minutes. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I got it. I got to go. Let's go. First thing, everybody say, consider not. Oh, okay. I, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. We're going we're to work with this because I know I've already given you enough to chew on right now. Everybody say, I got to get my, I got to get myself around these laws that govern things, right? Glory be to God. So I can make my way prosperous. Glory be to God. I got I to gotta work with my law of environment. Your, 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 your law of environment could be violated because you're just watching too much TV. You're just being entertained. And when you should be saturating yourself with the word, glory be to God. Amen? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I got to look at that for my law of environment. Amen? My law of focus, glory be to God. I could be, my, my, my you know, the enemy can, can get you dreaming all over the place. Everybody say, now you're focused. He ain't got the first thing done, but, but now he got 10 things. Though. He got 10 things that you're excited about. you in distraction. Now you're focused. Come on. God's talking to somebody right now. He said, now you're focused. It ain't that you can't do all 10. He said, you're focused. Let's get one done. Then we go after two. Then we go after three. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then the law of reference. Amen. Maybe you need to change your reference library. Maybe you're talking to someone. <sighs> this is kind of tough. Yeah, we're going to end here. This is kind of tough. Yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, you remember when they came out with commercials to get a second opinion. From the doctors. Now, this doctor has been seeing you. <laughs> You've been seeing this doctor. Oh, all your life. And um, truth be told, <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, he's helping you stay afloat, but you ain't really ain't been getting no better. Amen? Because his reference is always more pills, more pill, and more pills. Now, 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 please follow the instructions of your doctor. Don't, don't get twisted. But there's nothing wrong with getting a second opinion. Maybe this doctor doesn't specialize in my case. And maybe I had to go see another doctor just to get a verified second opinion. Watch the word. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, yeah. let every word be established. Yeah. Amen. Glory be to God. So your best friends shouldn't just be your only yeah. reference point. I'm not hating on your best friend. I'm just saying, get another perspective. Glory be to God. Because the truth will confirm itself. Amen? Glory be to God. So, so I got to watch my, my reference, and I got to make sure that I believe the Lord's report, watch this, over all reports. I got to believe the Lord's report. Over all reports. They told Nehemiah, Fox to knock it down. He said, I'm not, I'm not, that's, you're not my reference. As a matter of fact, when I get through building, you, only, you, you would not have a part in it. Oh, somebody ought to put that in the chat room right now. My haters, you just won't have a part in this. I'm going to believe God. Come on, give God some praise right now. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord. This is just a setup. Because where are we going to go? Let me tell you where we're going to go. I'm going to just pull out some things here because um, um, when we come back together again, you're going to see some things. I'm, I'm going to give you this one point. This, and then I'm stopping. Because... I want to I want I want to give you this on declare the end, and we'll come back and preach it. Come on up and position yourself, Minister K, for receiving the offering. You stand there. I'm sympathetic to your standing, so I won't talk long. So let's go. Come on. She's gonna help me out tonight. Either that, or she'd be standing a long time. So, <laughs> watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how God uses this principle of declaring the end 
and in faith to declare. I'm going to leave you with that. Then we, when we get back together again, this is the lesson we'll be on. Okay? He says this. Abram's name, Abram. God changes his name from Abram to Abraham. Say that with me. Abram, Abram. to Abraham. Abram means exalted father. That's what Abram means. Ishmael is living 13 years before God changes his name from Abram to Abraham. So Ishmael is running around referencing exalted father. But God did not call Abram to be an exalted father. That was not what he called him to be. But Abram was satisfied, took an exit, an exalted father. You got to catch this. Glory be to God. How, every time his sons call his name, exalted father. I'm living up to my name. In other words, what am I saying? <laughs> you might have to change <laughs> the name of the thing. <laughs> You've been referencing an exit and not the destination. Come on, glory be to God. So God comes and changes Abram's name. He said, look, I need you to stop referring to yourself as exalted father because I called you to be the father of nations. Glory be to God. So he changes his name from Abram to Abraham, and Abraham means father of multitude. It speaks to his calling to the nations. Hmm. What name do you need to change around you? Somebody say, I better go in there and give that thing a different name. I ain't going to give it a name called, I'm going to pay it down. Because <laughs> paying it down ain't my destination. Glory be to God. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Y'all going to come back with us? You going to come back with us and get part two of this? Glory be to God, I got to let you go. Glory to God, hallelujah. That's enough to chew on, meditate on. Glory be to God, work with the laws. Go through your house and rename some stuff. You know good and well, you ain't there yet. You're not where God initially told you to be. So let's get there. Let's get in faith to make a decree. Let me pray with you. Father God, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this word, for seeding it in our hearts. God, give us the full revelation of it. Anchor it in our hearts, God, in Jesus' name, that we, God, will operate as you declared us to operate, that we'll decree a thing and that we'll be established, and that your favor, your light will shine on our path. In Jesus' name, cover us under the blood and keep us. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. I'll give it over to Minister Kay. She'll take you the rest of the way. God bless you. Amen. You have just heard another life-transforming message from Life by Design Ministries. We would love to hear from you. Please visit our website at www.lbdm.org. And remember, God has a design and purpose for your life.